Hello everybody and welcome to this video where we are going to talk about what it means to remember the things that you're trying to write about. That was clunky as fuck. Okay, so this is coming up because there was a series of conversations that took place between me and a few people, but me and one person in particular, where we kept going back and forth about this one thing. Well, I had to have got it. It's all over my keyboard. So how this started out was a friend of mine was wanting to put a poem together, hit me up and said, like, I'm having a hard time trying to put this poem together because, like, I'm trying to remember it exactly how it took place. And, like, I want to do it, but I want to get it right. And the whole idea here is, is that you don't have to get it right. Poetry doesn't, you don't need to get poetry right. Poetry is how you feel during a situation. If you were trying to get it right, it would just be journalism, okay? Um, it would be just the facts and stuff like that. You don't need to do that. Um, and it's the same kind of thing like with painting. Like when you paint a picture, like you're painting it because you're giving your perspective of something you're looking at. Like if you're painting landscapes and stuff, and if you wanted it to be exact and look exact, you should have just taken a fucking picture, okay? A painting is something different that is from inside you witnessing a situation, okay? And that's how poetry is. So when you are trying to put a poem together and you're doing some life experience shit and you're like, okay, so this happened and then this happened and then this happened and you're writing it all down, it doesn't have to be exact. And the other thing is, because poetry should be very simplistic and should be broken down to the lowest common denominator, when you are putting a poem together, you're going to feel like everything that you're talking about needs to be in this poem. But then when you look at it, to someone who wasn't there, to just someone reading your poem... There are going to be lines that they're going to come across that have nothing to do with like the main idea and the main plot of this poem. And certain things in your poem don't push the poem forward. So when that happens, you can cut that stuff out. You don't need that stuff. It doesn't add anything to the poem. Okay. So we had this big talk and we were discussing all this stuff. And then we talked about this on the live stream the Anarchy Crew live stream. Yeah, join the Anarchy Crew down below. And um, then they were reading um, my MacArthur Park poem because I put it up in 12 parts and all this stuff. And um, he was like, yeah, dude, you know, I really dug this poem, but, like, you know, you kind of blew it. Like, it, it, it should have said um, Social Security Office instead of Social Services Building. You know, like, other than that, the poem's great. And so then I wrote him, and I'm like, but the Social Security office isn't what it was. And he's like, but you just said, like, um, it doesn't matter what things are. You want things to, like, sound better and all this stuff. And I'm like, Social Security office or social services building? I'm like, I don't understand why they don't sound like, why one sounds better than the other. And then I'm like, dude, like, the Social Security office is where fucking old folks go to get scratch, you know? And the social services building is where all the unhoused people in MacArthur Park go to get everything they need so they don't die. Like, it's a completely different place. Like, it's a different building that does different things. And it's like, if you were to go to Taco Bell and try to order a cheeseburger, you know? Like, yes... There's food at Taco Bell, but they don't have certain things there, you know? Yeah, so that's the other thing, too. Like, don't get hung up on things, whether you are, like, writing poems or reading poems. Like, the whole idea of us, like, going back and forth over what to call a building isn't the idea of the poem. The idea of the poem is the multitudes of people living on the streets, like down the street from my house. Okay. The building itself 
should never like it, it, it completely doesn't matter. Like if you're getting hung up on shit that isn't important to what the thing is, you're missing the point of what you're supposed to be reading and what you're supposed to be writing. So basically, don't get hung up on shit that you don't need to get hung up on. Keep things fucking simple and use your interpretation of an event to paint the picture that you see in your head. That's why people come to you. They want to see your vision of what you're sharing. Okay? If people wanted journalism, they would just turn on the news to see exactly how something happened and went down. You know? Or you can have a news site. An article site. Okay? But if you want to write poetry, just write it concisely, simply, without extra fat. Get to the point and focus on the stuff that you want to focus on about that thing. Okay? So, that's it. Keep buying my books. Join the Anarchy Crew down below. Type hard, everybody. And I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.